CBS 19 Tuesday Tales is sponsored by Pelche Subaru. Welcome in everyone. It's Tuesday, which means it's Tuesday Tales. And we really tried to get our furry friend here in a costume because <laughs> it's Halloween, but it's okay. Megan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. So we have Zeus and Zeus is such a strong name. It's the Olympian that's the god of the sky and thunder. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we gave them, um, I have Zeus and Titan at my house because oh. Um, they were the only two surviving from their litter, and we had to give mm. them big, strong names since yeah. they were little miracle puppies for us. Um, but yeah, this is Zeus. Um, hey, Zeus. Yeah, he knows he's cute. He's got the <laughs> he's blues. He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I need you guys to get a picture, a uh, close-up of his eyes. They're so yeah. blue. Yeah. You can't even see it. It blends <laughs> in. So what's the story behind him and Titan? Um, so his mom was surrendered to us as a very pregnant dog. And mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, she had to go through a C-section and only two survived. But wow. um, like I said, we gave them big, strong names because they were little miracle puppies. But mm -hmm. um, Zeus is actually part English Springer Spaniel, part Husky mix. Um, he's already... Um, he's not close to mom's size, but we could mm -hmm. tell he's going to be bigger than yeah, her. Yeah, he's going to be big for sure. I bet definitely like 60 to 70 pounds for sure. He's just a big puppy, and they've grown really fast. Um, but yeah. So you're it's actually not. fostering them. What's that experience been like? Um, so it's been a roller coaster to say. Mm -hmm. You know, we had our ups and downs, but mom's doing well now um, after her C-section, and and babies are, are showing their personality, which mm -hmm. is great to see. Um, what we know about this little guy, um, he's not going to be little for long, and so he needs a, a home that can accommodate him with a big backyard where you can run and play. Yes, um, I would take him, but I yep. live in an apartment, so that's not ideal. <laughs> you know, we always like to say the good about him, but I, I bet this one would not be a good apartment dog just mm -hmm. based on the breed and the energy level yeah. he has. Um, he'll need a yard to play play in or um, a family that goes running or jogging or yes. hiking and walking, you know, exercise every day is what he needs. He's got like little specks on his fur here. Oh I love gosh. that. <laughs> yeah. um, so he's eight weeks um, and how long until he's able to be up for adoption? Yeah. So he's he's six weeks Six now, weeks. But um, at eight weeks he will be old enough for adoption. So what we do is we promote him for adoption now so that when he's old enough, um, we'll already have a family placed. Um. Yeah. And I feel like he's not gonna he's not gonna last long at all. Mm. You you are too cute, Zeus. <laughs> so I am okay, yeah. Look, see he's over this interview. He's ready to go home and take a nap. I'm with it, me too, buddy. Um, so perfect. So if you guys are interested in maybe donating or not donating, donating to the SBCA of East <laughs> Texas, but adopting Zeus here, Titan, or any of the other animals at the SBCA of East Texas, you know where to find all of that information there. Megan, thank you so much for stopping yeah, by. Thank y'all for having us. Zeus, you did great. <laughs>